Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishaloy. Hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I am going to talk about placement statistics in different IITs and ISC. And to be specific, I am going to talk about that why this placement statistics that is released by IITs and ISC every year that what are the highest packages being offered to students uh, during that year is actually a misleading number. Uh, so I have seen that there is a craze among the students um, um, about these numbers and people from different departments used to ask me you know personally or you can you can see the comments and YouTube YouTube uh, YouTube videos also that people used to ask me that sir what is the highest package that is being offered in this particular department at ISC. Now it's it's good to look into these numbers uh, because somehow this motivates students to prepare for GATE, go to MTech, pursue MTech uh, because they think that you know they will be having a good good amount uh, of money as a salary uh, from the placement that you that you will be getting from the MTech. But you know these numbers are misleading as I was saying, and and you shouldn't only focus on these numbers, and when you'll be choosing your MTech college or you know PhD suppose if you're, if you're joining PhD also you shouldn't only focus on, on these numbers why so that I'm going to discuss in this video so if you want to know detail about it please stay tuned with this video till end before that uh, if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video uh, you will get instant notification if you like this video please like it and share this video to many other people and i have opened a uh, you know telegram channel and discussion group so the link i'll be given in the description if you want to connect with me discuss something uh, about your questions and query you can join the telegram group and we can discuss there without further ado let's get started into today's video now first of all i want to tell you the difference between ctc and base salary Whenever IITs or IISC used to release that this much amount of money, this is the highest uh, salary that is being offered to, you know, some student that year by a company, that is actually the CTC part of the salary, that is cost to company part of the salary. That means how much the overall money you'll be getting from that uh, company as a part of your employment. Now, this money is not something that you'll be getting year after year or month after month. So you won't be getting that money because that money has one part that is basic salary that you'll be getting every year for sure. But there are some other components as well. Like there will be some allowances, some bonus, some perks. These things are some fixed money that you'll be getting some period of your employment in that particular company. For example, one, one common thing that is there in CTC is joining bonus. Now joining bonus is an amount that you'll only get when you will be joining that particular company. So the initial uh, day, you'll be getting that money. Uh, the purpose of getting that money is the company is assisting you uh, to settle down in a different city and that's why they are giving you some money. Now this joining bonus, I was saying, you'll get only once uh, during your tenure in that particular company. So it's not something that you'll be getting every month, how long you'll be working for that company. So it's a fixed amount, one time pay that the company will pay you. The second thing is, Performance bonus. So each year your performance will be evaluated by your manager or boss and based on that at the end of the financial year you'll be getting some money as as your performance bonus based on your performances. So this is also something that you'll be getting only once yearly and this is not something that you'll be getting every month though it is mentioned in the CTC. The third thing common thing is that is stock value. Now company used to give you a stock value. So suppose uh, as I have seen that sometime Amazon used to give you 40 lakh stock value. Now this 40 lakhs you won't be getting you know every year or this 40 lakhs you won't you know redeem immediately after joining the company. So there is a time period of four years maybe. So in, in four years you'll be getting 40 lakhs. So suppose you work there for one year, you can only redeem 25% of the salary of the, of the, of the stock. You work there for two years, then next 25% you will be, uh, you'll be getting uh, from the stock value. So you have to work in that company for four years to get the, those that 40 lakhs uh, from the stock value. But all of this money, though you are not getting this money, you know, every year or every month, but that will be part of your CTC. And that actually creates a false impression that I'm getting so much money from the company, maybe uh, suppose you are getting 80 lakhs uh, as, as a CTC. So you are thinking that, okay, 80 lakhs I'll be getting yearly 
and that is a huge money. But maybe the base part is only 20 lakhs, but the rest 60 part, the 60 lakhs part is this stocks, performance bonus, different allowances, joining bonus and so on and so forth. So that's why actual salary that is being released by different uh, IITs and ISC are actually CTC part of the uh, salary and you should focus on the base salary because that is the only constant salary that you'll be getting every year and if you divide it by 12 whatever money that is there you'll be getting that money uh, monthly but the CTC is kind of an illusion uh, that money you won't get every year every month so focus on the base salary part and only look into the base salary and then decide which of the company you are looking for because if base salary is too low and, and CTC is too high, I doubt whether you should join that company or not. The next important thing is, even if some IIT or ISC, you, you think that they have a very good placement last year, uh, their highest base salary is good, highest CTC is good, even average base salary, average CTC is also good. What is the guarantee if you join that uh, particular institute for your MTech, next year when you will be appearing for the placement, you will be having that particular, that, that, that specific job with, with huge salary. Because when you join there, then you will see there are 50 or 60 other students. They have also joined. They are also equally good like you. And you all are competing for that particular uh, job role uh, that is being offered by a company which, which contains a huge salary. And, and because, because there, are, there are two things. First of all, these big companies like Amazon and Flipkart wish to offer huge salary. Uh, they, they don't offer uh, much of the positions because their vacancies are very, very low and they should recruit suppose two to three uh, person every year for, for their job. And the second thing is their placement procedure or their recruitment procedure is also very strict. They will take your two to three, even four interviews suppose to check your skill set and through this rigorous process of interview only, uh, they will select you if you have enough skill set that satisfy their, you know, that satisfy their requirement for that particular role. So that's why, you know, even if you join a very good college, which has a very good placement statistics, it doesn't guarantee anything. You have to really work hard during your MTech. You have to build the skill set for your first three semester. Then only, you know, when placement will happen early fourth semester, you will be able to crack those big jobs. So that's why your focus should be on learning, not on the earning. Obviously, you know, whenever you are joining IIT, your goal should be that you are getting, you should get a, you know, higher, higher job profile from, from your placement. But that should be in your mind, but you shouldn't be obsessed about that. Your focus should be on doing the courses, doing different projects that is there, that is, that is there in those courses and try to learn as much as possible so that you, you develop the skill set. And then when you go for the placement, you will be having the, having the job that you are dreaming for. Third important things that I want to tell you is that even if you are not getting a highest paid job, you shouldn't be worried about it because this is not the last job that you will be that you will be doing. This is the first job that you are getting from the on-campus placement perhaps. And this is the starting of your career, right? And even if you're not getting the highest paid job, suppose Amazon is giving the highest paid salary that is possible and you are not getting that. You are not even getting the average salary that is that is there in that particular year and suppose you are getting a very ordinary startup uh, company uh, as, your, as your first job. You shouldn't be worried about it. You just join that startup, start working there for some time and after two years or three years when you have some sort of experience, you try to switch into these big companies like Amazon, Flipkart or LinkedIn. And maybe, you know, if you, then you, as you have the experience, you'll be easily able to crack uh, those companies placement. And maybe that time you'll be, you'll be having a huge hike. And when you, you are joining Amazon or Flipkart, maybe the salary that you'll be getting then after three years is kind of similar or maybe more than what you're expecting during your placement. So that's why this is not the last job that you are doing. This is the first job. This is just the starting of your career. So you shouldn't be worry about that much. You rather should focus on how you can utilize those two years of your MTech in different IITs or ISC, how you can, you know, utilize the learning exposure that is there in these uh, premium institutes and how you can add value to your life uh, through these two years of MTech. So that should be your focus. Placement is important, but placement is not only things that is important. You should focus more on learning because once you are out of IIT after your MTech, there is no 
chance that you can relive that particular life so try to explore uh, how much you know how much opportunity is there uh, for learning due to emptying days try to make you make yourself as skillful as possible so that you know you you become a very expert in a particular direction and that will eventually help you to get a, a very good job if not in the on campus placement obviously in the off campus placement or maybe after some time yeah, that's it guys that's it about this video this is something i want to discuss with all of you uh, because i know this time you know when the gate result is up and many students are looking for different colleges and they are, they have to decide which college they will join and they will definitely consider the placement statistics as, as one of the parameters uh, that should be there but i feel they should look into other aspects also not only the placement statistics because placement statistics as i said it's misleading it doesn't guarantee that if you join that particular college you also will be having the similar packages and this is not the last package that you'll be getting in your future you will be you will be getting a lot of other jobs you'll be switching to one job to other jobs and your package will be growing up so you shouldn't be worried about uh, packages obviously in the placement on campus placement you should try for a uh, you know uh, maximize your uh, salary as much as salary you get you should focus on that but that's that's it you shouldn't be obsessed about getting a, a very good um, very good package and if you are not getting the package also you shouldn't be depressed also so that's it guys that's it about this video if you have liked this video as i said please like it and share this video to other people as well and if you are new to this particular channel i'm again saying uh, please go through my channel and if you found it uh, helpful for you please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i'll upload a video you'll get instant notification that's it about this video i'll meeting in the next video until then